I'm Sean Boone from West Palm Beach, Florida, direct to Brandon Manley himself, which is direct to the man himself, Andy Albright. Uh, I've been here for about a year and a half. Um, yeah, so pretty much my topic today is common mistakes, booking appointments, and how I've changed. It's going to be more mixed with sports analogies, just a heads up. <laughs> But I think everybody will get the point of the common mistakes and we'll get to how I changed, right? So a couple of mis common mistakes I've made and probably people in here who are not great at dialing, it's a lot of people in here that's great at dialing. Uh, oh, Big Mike gave me the, uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> so a couple mistakes, uh, not scheduling it is one mistake. Not going on dial jams or you know, getting on the dial jams or even going. Creating fear inside of your head and the fear of rejection. Not following the phone script. Letting the person take control of the conversation when you already, when you're on the phone while you're trying to book the appointment, right? But the main one I'm going to focus on is creating the fear of rejection before you even get on the phone or even while you're on the phone. So I was reading a book, The Latin Factor, and The Latin Factor talks about how cre you create, like a lot of times the fear we have in our heads, we create it. So it's not something you know, that just comes out of the blue, we create this thought, we create the fear. So me being a defensive back and who, who not big sports fan, a defensive back is I stop the offensive person from scoring the touchdown. And if I do not stop them from scoring a touchdown, I will be on ESPN. <laughs> and you will see me on ESPN. Come on, man. So <laughs> here it is. I I'm going to set the stage. I'm going to set the stage. Just imagine yourself in front of 80,000 people. It's you, a man across from you, and you the defensive back. You have to stop this guy from scoring a touchdown, or your family going to see it, your kids going to see it. <laughs> Your, your cousin gonna see it. Everybody gonna see it. Everybody, all eighty thousand fans is gonna see it. And I can do two things. I can be confident, or I can create the fear inside my head, like I can't get beat. I can't get beat. If I line up against this guy and I saying I can't get beat, I can't get beat. What's nine times nine times out of ten chance that's gonna happen? I'm gonna get beat because I've already created that in my head. So when we book a when we book an appointments, and before we even sit down, we say, well, I guess, because I've done this a lot, I don't think I should, you know, even put it on my schedule. I don't think I should uh, even dial the person. They might not even pick up the phone. They might not, they might not even want me to come to their house. COVID going on. Uh, all these excuses, all these fears that we, like, we just put in our heads. So if... I'm a defensive back, and like I said, I, I get beat. Like, that's what I'm thinking that's going to happen. I'm going to get beat. So when I book the appointment and I create, when I'm trying to book the appointment and I create that, I'm not going to book the appointment. So when, when having those fears and you putting those fears out of your head, what's, what's key is preparation. So we have to prepare. We have to schedule it. We have to go to the job, dial jams, get on the Zoom calls. We, we have to be able to correlate all the things in the preparation because if we, we have the proper preparation, which prevents poor performance, it's the same thing on the football field. If I prepare, if I study the guy, what moves he going to make, what routes he's been running, I know going into the game that I, I could dominate this guy with just being mentally prepared. It's the same thing in the business. If I'm mentally prepared, then I, I know I need to dial at 8 to, tw 8 to 12, whatever block time I have. Monday, dial for Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, dial for Friday, Saturday. And then, like he said, if you can't do that, figure it out. So I, I can tell you this story right here. I don't like telling this story, and it, it irks my nerves telling this story. So just go back to that stage of you're in front of 80,000 people. You're on ESPN, it's a Thursday night. In 2017, I played, we played against Florida State. Big game, lights on, 
all the NFL recruit uh, scouts there. It's, it's time to be the man that night. So just imagine yourself getting ready to book your appointments and stuff. Put it, put it y'all in the same mode. We're gonna fast forward to the fourth quarter. It's time to close it, right? It's time to close the game. It's time to close it. It's time to win it. Three minutes left in the game. I've seen this play all week. I know what's gonna happen. I know where the ball going. I know the formation. Everything. I'm in the. I'm a long range. Is me and the quarterback. I see where he's going. Step to the left. Ball comes. Thought I had an interception. I dropped it <laughs> to win the game. So when we go and we book our point and we book the appointments, right? Or let's just say we don't. Like you have to kind of be able to really I'm gonna go when you're dialing and you get hung up on. That's that's better. When you dial and you get hung up on, you get hung up on, you got two choices you can make. Either I'm gonna let this linger or I'm gonna just move on. Guess what I did? The next play, that second down, I dropped the pick. So I got another shot. To still win the game. But in my head, I was like, it's, it's over. <laughs> like, I dropped the pick, game is over. Line up the next play, get beat for a touchdown. Really went for really Florida State to win the game. ESPN, all over ESPN. So, long story short, is the message is we can't linger in what we done if we got hung up on, if we get we don't close the cell. Like we can't linger in that. We have to move on to the next play. Cause if we move on to the next play, we can either make a get a bigger sale, we might find money, we might get a big IUL. Like you just kinda never know if you move on to the next play. But if you do what I did and linger on what you did bad, then you're gonna miss out on your opportunity. So when doing so with this and it's it's crazy how all of this merges together of, you know, what we do in sports and the business. Now, mind you, everybody in here had a job in their life. I've never had a job in my life, like I said last night. So I have to take my experiences from football and the lessons and how I prepare, how, how I always put in that little extra time to get myself better. You know, as a football player, it's just kind of the same thing in business. In business, you have to squeeze, like Andy was talking about earlier, that one more. Squeezing that one more down, squeezing that one more recruit. Like, be able to squeeze it in, because if you squeeze it in, like, it, it, it kind of get crazy. You see Andy Riddle, you see all these guys who's kind of stable and where they at, but it's like they have the discipline, which creates the habit, and the habit, which creates the routine, and the routine goes into fanatical and, and obsession. So Andy Albright is obsessive. I spent five days with him, and it's really ridiculous how obsessed he is. <laughs> it's not ridiculous, but it's, it, it's, his, he's in obsession mode. So wherever you're at in that sequence of the discipline, trying to get the discipline to create the habit, Focus on being disciplined to create the habit. So if you create the habit, now you go into a routine. So then when you get to routine, and probably Andy Riddles can say he's in a routine stage where he has his routine. A lot of you know top performance agency managers, they're in a routine stage where they're trying to kick it into obsession. So trying to be obsessed with finding one more, trying to be obsessed with you know getting another sale, getting another big annuity, finding the team. So being able to put all these things together can really change our business. And I'm not perfect, I'm getting better, I'm progressing. So don't think I'm, because I got the mic, I'm you know, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> but uh, I'm learning from a lot of the big guys, you know, spending time with them. And association is very powerful. If you don't associate and you self-isolate, it will kill you. Because that's, 
you'll find yourself depressed for no reason. You'll be like, <laughs> like I'm, I, I just don't want to do nothing today. <laughs> but then when you come around, you just be like, you get your juice back. <laughs> so that's, that's how powerful, you know, this company is and the culture is. You just make sure you associate, but always be fond of people that's in the fight. The, they use this analogy, the monkey's in the cage. If you, oh, okay, oh, sorry. <laughs> so real quick, I'm done. So if you, <laughs> I can't see, I don't got my contacts in. <laughs> so th make sure you just find the right monkeys in the cage. Don't get in the cage with the wrong monkeys. <laughs> Make sense?